Hello my friends, it is Sarah the Itty Bitty Celtic Witch and today we are here to talk about little everyday witchcraft altars for practicing daily magic. So we're gonna start off by having a chat about what different daily witchcraft altars are like and then we are going to make one together. All right, so let's have a chat about everyday witchcraft altars. So when I started out with my practice, I found that my central altar was sort of the place where I focused. It was a larger space on a side table, but then as I sort of started walking further down this winding path, I found myself creating little everyday altars throughout the home, throughout different parts of my day, where they were easy to interact with and connect with to keep that connection with spirit flowing. So some tips on how to create a daily witchcraft altar. So first you're gonna wanna choose a little spot for your altar space. And a good, a good starting place for this is considering where you are spending most of your time. So if you're in the kitchen a lot or in the living room, a home office, working in the bedroom, wherever it is that you are spending quite a bit of your time, looking to those sort of rooms, those sort of spaces for creating your witchcraft altar, a little everyday altar is a good spot. So let's have a chat about what that can look like in some of the different rooms. So in a kitchen, usually there's also a lot of things going on in a kitchen, right? We're cooking, we're preparing meals. So you're going to want to find a little nook, a little spot where you can sort of create that little space, but also not have to take it down all of the time to get ready for cooking or chopping or prepping your dinner. So looking for a little space that's sort of a bit out of the way, and that can be a good spot to create a daily altar space that you can look on when you're making your tea, when you're cooking your dinner, and when you are just in that kitchen witch frame of mind. Then in the living room, things like side tables, coffee tables, they can present really good opportunities for little altar spaces, little sacred spaces. And with a coffee table, with a side table, it can also can become a bit of a centerpiece for the table. And that can be a great way to blend it into and keep the energy flowing with the setting of the room itself. And when creating these things, a good thing to keep in mind is simplicity. You don't need to get overly complicated with little daily altars. These are just simple reminders and different ways you can connect with your spiritual practice. And the side table works very well with the bedroom as well as a nightstand that can be a good spot for on a dresser. If you have one of those dressers with the mirror on it, there could be a good space for a good surface there for creating your altar space, creating a small little reminder as you're getting ready to carry out the day and do all of the wonderful magical things that will unwind throughout the day. In a home office, a good spot could be near a lamp, somewhere that's off to the side where you're not sort of, um, where it doesn't really get in the way of the things that you're doing already. So you have room for your workspace, whether it's a laptop, notebook, whatever it is, having it set off a little bit to the side where you can easily see it, but it's not going to sort of be disrupted by putting down your laptop or making space for working. So once you've chosen your space, space for the altar, then it's time to start gathering your supplies. And again, with everyday witchcraft altars, with everyday sacred spaces and reminders for daily magic, this doesn't need to be complex because often it is going to be in a space where you are working, where you are busy, where you are prepping, whether kitchen, office. And it's just that tie, that reminder that keeps you connected, feeling that magical vibes flowing throughout the day while you are doing all of the other to-dos on your 
planner and on your list. So let's have a look at some of the different ways to start setting up your altar. And again, keep simplicity in mind. So think about getting a tea lighter to a small votive candle. Again, we don't need to create an elaborate setup here. Um, maybe a crystal or two, or it could just be the tea light. It could just be the crystal. It could even be a plant as a green witch altar. And that is that by tending to that plant, by caring for that plant throughout the day, you are connecting with that natural magical vibe and keeping that connection flowing. So if you're creating an altar space somewhere where you don't have a lot of countertop space, where you don't have that surface, uh, flat surface space, then you might want to think vertically. And by that, there's a lot of really awesome examples out there on Pinterest of altars that have been created sort of on the wall. So think hanging artwork or woven branches that are held onto the wall with hooks. Those are some really artistic ways. There's a lot of really neat triangular shelves out there where you can create that vertical altar space without um, using any of the counter space if it's already being used for whatever reason, whether it's in the kitchen or whether it's in a home office and you need that space to sort of spread out and have your plans and have your work in front of you. And then another tip to keep in mind with the simplicity aspect of this is usually these altars are created in spaces which are busy, which do have a lot of traffic. There's things going on, there's things happening. So having a candle or a crystal as the sort of central altar and these things are easy to move around if you need to clear the area for prepping something else. So that aspect of a simple altar creation can also be helpful for the other activities that you are weaving throughout the day. Then when your altar space is all set up, then it's time to simply charge the space. And you can do this by placing your hands around your setup and visualizing the energy that you're wanting to create and feeling that flow into the altar space and nourish it and fill it up with that, those positive vibes, those abundance vibes, loving energy, whatever the purpose and central focus of your altar is. So let's turn the camera around and make a simple little altar space together. So there we are. We have our altar space all created. I would love to hear how you guys create your daily altars throughout your home, throughout your day, while you're tending to different various activities of daily life. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. If you would like to help me choose the topic for next month's witchcraft resource, Take a look at the Patreon links below and the one that'll pop up shortly. Thank you to my patrons for voting on this topic. It has been an absolute delight to create as always. Wishing you a wonderful, wonderful day, my friends, and a happy new year. So very many blessings.